All right, so today we're going to build an app that every time you press a button, it will change the background color of the view controller. All right, so let's get started. The first thing you're going to want to do is open up Xcode, new Xcode project, and this will be a single view application. What's next? Um, set the project name to background, um, language set to Swift, and device iPhone. That's next. First thing you want to do is go into the main.storyboard. You're going to add a button to the center of the view controller. Right. Let's change the text to something like change background. All right, good. Next is open up the system editor. Now we can delete all the code between the class decoration and the uh, end curly bracket. So let's control, click and drag on the button and drag it to the view controller. Yeah. Set this to an action and call it button action. So what this is doing is that every time this button is pressed, it's going to call the code that's inside this function. All right. Now we need a couple of variables. The first one is going to be an array that's going to store all the colors that we have. So let colors equals open bracket close bracket you write the black. So now you can put any color you want and any amount of colors. So I'm just going to put a couple UI color dot red, UI color dot green, and let's make one more UI color dot blue. We need one more variable, a var index equals zero. Right. So now in our button action right here, we're gonna say self dot view dot background color equals colors index. Alright, so basically what's gonna happen here that it's gonna set the background color to whatever value this is. So if this is 0, it will set it to the black color. If this is 1, it will set it to the red color, and so on and so on. So next, we're going to need to change this index value because if we keep it like this, then every time the button is pressed, it's going to be the same color. So we're going to say if index equals colors dot count minus 1. Right. So if this is true, we're going to set the index back to zero. Else, then we're going to increment index by one. Right, so what's happening here is that colors.count is the amount of, is the size of the array. So if index equals the size of the array, then we want to set back to, we want to set that back to zero. If it's not, then we set the index to one. Alright, so now we can build and run the app, and it should work. Okay, so I have the button here, and if I press it, it changes to all the background colors that we have in the colors array. So if, let's say if I want to put another color, UI color, let's see what we have here, let's make it brown. Then we should see a brown color after the blue one. The black, red, green, blue, and the brown. Alright, so that was a quick little tutorial on how to change the background color every time you press a button.